Let's check out another product from Finercy. This is the wall detector. It's the WD01. It, it detects AC or electrical lines, wood, and metal. Never used an item like this before. And it looks pretty interesting to me. So here we've got the detector unit itself. We've got an instruction manual. USB-A to USB-C must be a charging cable. And a nice carrying pouch you can put on your belt loop or something. Velcro enclosure. Oh, that's pretty nice. On the bottom, you've got your USB-C for charging, and I've already completely charged the unit. you got a little pinhole here where you have a reset button, and then an on-off button. On the front, you've got the display screen. You've got a center hole for putting a pen or something through there to mark your location of the center of the object, and then some indicator lights. Red shows you're over the object. Green is just ready to go and yellow is you're in the vicinity of the object. And then two buttons. The right button is for metal and electricity and the left button is for other objects. So we'll turn the unit on. We've got the display screen and it automatically defaults to the metal. If you want to detect power or electricity, push this button one time. You've got a little lightning bolt over here indicating you're in the electric mode and then this is for other objects. Now you have two modes here exact which is for more shallow and more precise of identifying objects and then you hold that button down and it goes to deep so it'll go deeper into the wall for objects but it won't be quite as accurate as the exact. And then last but not least, you can push both buttons at the same time and hold them for a couple of seconds. And it'll have a beeper, so it'll give you an audible indication that you're over an object. For the sake of the video, I'll shut that off for now. Let's go back to the uh, metal. And then you've got a battery indicator up here on the upper left-hand corner. Now to calibrate the tool, Make sure you're not around any other metal objects. You don't have any jewelry or watches or things like that on. You want to hold this right button down for a couple of seconds. The green light will go out and then when it comes back on, release the button and it should be calibrated. And we're ready to go. So let's put it on other objects and I've got a couple of samples here. I'm just going to put them underneath this piece of cardboard. Of course, this does work through sheetrock and it'll go about an inch and a half deep into the wall. So we'll just try a piece of wooden trim, put that underneath our piece of cardboard here and see if we can detect that. See, it's starting to recognize it and it's showing a percentage over here, giving us the yellow light. And as we come farther across, now it's detected the center, we have a red light, and you could put a pencil through that hole or a pen, and then you could mark the location, and that'll show you the center of the object. And it's fairly accurate with that. Next we'll try a piece of PVC pipe under the same mode, just the general object mode. So if you had a water pipe or a piece of PEX pipe or something like that or a conduit, plastic PVC conduit, you could find its location behind the wall. The same indications on the front of the device, red showing you're centered over the item. Next we'll try a piece of metal conduit. This is ferrous metal so it, a magnet will stick to it. So I'll show you another indicator on the metal option. So let's go back to metal. And right next to the eye, there'll be an indicator showing if it's magnetic or not with a horseshoe shaped kind of magnet style icon. So let's give this pipe a try. This piece of conduit. 
that's pretty sensitive and it has already given us the horseshoe indicator right next to the eye and it also gives us a depth but we're not quite over the center there's the center so I've got a hundred percent center indication one centimeter and it's metallic and the metallic works when you're quite a ways away from the from the wall or from the object so this is showing nine centimeters eight seven centimeters depending on how close you have it to the object or how deep in the wall the object is I've got some aluminum welding rod so let's try that and see what the indicator shows us for a non-ferrous metal object same setting on the device and this is not showing an indication of being ferrous or magnetic material but it is showing that we have an object that is metal and we're centered on it right there now another function is detecting live wires so I've got an extension cord here that's plugged into power so it has power in the wire so we'll press this right button until we get a thunderbolt symbol and then it should be ready to detect a live power wire so as we come across it flashes red just to kind of give you a warning that there's power behind the wall and this one I don't know why but I've noticed it just turns green when you're centered over the object it's kind of works in reverse of of how it does with the other items But a flashing red light there's yellow there's flashing red 100% so it's behind the tool and when it's centered it shows a green light and it almost gives you a zero over here and that wire is directly behind the center hole so it will give you a warning if you're trying to drill a hole in a wall or you want to punch a hole into it if you've got a live wire that's behind the wall so really interesting and uh, useful device if you want more information about it I'll put links to it in the description of the video for those who want to check it out and if you click that video on the screen now I think it's another video you'll enjoy I'll meet you over there